Hey, Janky here again. Got another guitar review, another cheap guitar. So this is the Ibanez AE. They're not that expensive. I bought this one brand new. This was one of those uh, times where you, you go into Guitar Center and you're there to buy some strings and then you walk out with a guitar. So I didn't really have a, a acoustic guitar at the time that uh, had a input uh, that was, a you know, had a pickup in it. And uh, so I bought this one and it's... I mean, for a cheap guitar, it, it's a cheap guitar. It sounds like a cheap guitar. Although, when you put some new strings on it, it does sound a little bit better. Um, but it, again, it is a, a cheap guitar. And uh, I'll, I'm going to compare it to a really nice Gibson. Um, but let me give you a look at it first here. So uh, this is the standard AE Ibanez kind of headstock here. I don't know why I got the purple one, but it just, it plays really well. I mean, you know, it's got some great, great parts, really solid tuners. Never, never had a problem with tuning on this thing. Um, it is, uh, I've play, I've written a ton of songs on this guitar. I don't really play it much anymore. Um, you can see there's the neck. It's, it's a nice, just, I mean, it's a great feeling guitar. Uh, I, I wanted one with the cutaway. It's got the Fishman here. Um, this is the, uh, where the battery goes, and you can see it's got the um, equalizer, volume, um, you can phase issues. You can use that. Um, I have a daughter, so she would <laughs> she would always put stickers on it when I, when uh, she was a, a little baby, and um, it's uh, so the output is there, and um, it uh, nice bridge on it. it I mean, it's a, it's a well made guitar. Um, I don't think it's a veneer, but um, you can see the grain in it. I always like to buy guitars that you can see the grain in it. Um, and uh, but yeah, that's that's a it's a beautiful guitar. It just sounds a little thin to me, especially. Um, I played a gig with a guy who was playing a Martin acoustic, and I play blues, and it just this thing did not did not hold up, man. It was. <laughs> There you go. So let me play it for you, and I'm going to compare it to a Gibson Hummingbird. <laughs> Thank you.
there you have it, Ibanez AE. Uh, you can see on the inside there, AE18 TVS. As you could, you could probably hear the difference. The Gibson is much, much, much warmer, and it, it just has a uh, more of a uh, what you would, I guess, consider <clears throat> the recordings that you've ever heard. Um, it just sounds like a good, good, solid, beautiful sounding acoustic guitar. This is bright. It's very thin. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how it came across on the the uh, the camera here, but um, it's it, this is louder, and maybe it could be because this has the newer strings on it. But um, louder is not necessarily better because it loses all of that warmth. Um, it really didn't have. Um, I mean, it just it sounds like an acoustic guitar. Whereas the Gibson sounds like a great sounding acoustic guitar and what you've grown and, and grown to love about hearing acoustic guitars on, on recordings. And, um, you know, this, um, it, it's just kind of a beater guitar for me. It's just one that's always been around within grab, grabbing distance uh, to write songs and stuff like that. And so I've written a ton of songs on this guitar. And, you know, if for, for a beginner, this is a great guitar. This is a perfect guitar. Um, if you're a beginner, this is a great guitar to buy. Um, they're, they're not that expensive and it's, it's held up. I've had this thing for quite a few years. I would say pushing 20 years. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're in the market for a cheap guitar, just one to kind of, uh, you know, that you're not going to really worry about just, you can carry with you. This is a great guitar. It's the body's not overly big. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good guitar man so thanks for watching uh as you can see on my channel i've got a ton of guitar reviews um many of them are kind of focused on cheap guitars and um uh i, I think that you can make good music with cheap guitars you know but there is a difference between uh if you're going to be recording man you want to you want to really really uh, make sure that the gear is, is sounding top notch especially an acoustic guitar because there's no way around um, recording a, a cheap sounding acoustic guitar. I mean, you can EQ it to death, but uh, you know, in the end, you'll definitely hear it. Hey, also subscribe to my channel as well as check me out at getjanky.com, G-E-T-J-A-N-K-Y, G-E-T-J-A-N-K-Y. I'm a blues musician. I play hill country blues, which is North Mississippi, way up there, uh, south of Memphis with the likes, uh, kind of sounds like R.L. Burnside type stuff. Got three CDs out there with a ton of singles. This is my newest one, the newest one, Hill Country Foot Stomp. And then uh, the, before that one, I've got this one called Holly Springs, Texas. I've got Robert Kimbrough Sr. playing drums on that one. And uh, my first CD, Them Grackles as well. Um, again, this is all, I just love playing music, love writing songs. I love playing fun music, the blues especially. Hill Country Blues, it just makes you want to shake you, you rump and stomp your foot. So uh, please subscribe again. And like I said, man, you got to have fun doing this stuff. So that's what it is for me, playing guitars. I hope these videos help. And uh, there's also some instructional videos on here as well, and playing the blues and things like that. So make sure, without a doubt, the end of the day, you got to have fun. Thank you.